Cali from Texas, Congressman Will Hurd, a former CIA officer, wrote an op-ed for the New York Times, and it was entitled, Trump is being manipulated by Putin. What should we do? And in it, the Texas Republican writes, quote, over the course of my career as an undercover officer in the CIA, I saw Russian intelligence manipulate many people. I never thought I would see the day when an American president would be one of them. So do you agree with Congressman Hurd? Is the president being manipulated by Vladimir Putin? Well, Will has a background as a CIA uh, officer. Um, I defer to him on manipulation. I can tell you this, Brett, um, the president has access to every bit of evidence, even more than those of us on House Intel, and Will and I serve on Intel. He has access to Pompeo and Chris Ray and Dan Coats and Nikki Haley. The evidence is overwhelming. It can be proven beyond any evidentiary burden that Russia is not our friend and they tried to attack us in 2016. So the president either needs to rely on the people that he has chosen to advise him or those advisors need to reevaluate whether or not they can serve in this administration. But the disconnect cannot continue. The evidence is overwhelming. And the president needs to say that and act like it. So he eventually said it through the week, Congressman. But what do you think was the evolution there? Why, why the hesitation? I don't know. Um, I, I watched the press conference. It wasn't just that line. It, 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 it was um, the president missed, I think, a really good opportunity to distinguish, to, to distinguish the United States from any other country, but especially from Russia. And, and, and I don't know what was said in the private conversation, but, but I do know this. We got a classified briefing this week, Brett. There is no way you can listen to the evidence and not conclude, not that the Democrats were the victims, but the United States of America were the victim. We were the victims of, of what Russia did in 2016, and it ought to be a source of unity and rallying around the fact that we're never going to allow this to happen again, and we're going to punish those who tried to do it. And there was this equivocation during the press conference that I'm glad he corrected it, but when you're the leader of the free world, every syllable matters, and, and, and you really shouldn't be having to correct it uh, when you're the leader of the free world.